All right, now to the NFL Draft. One week from tonight, we're going to debut our five-part Draft Dreams series. We showcase local players who hope to hear their names called. And Kyle Pitts from Archbishop Wood, he is definitely going to go in the first round. Top 10, maybe top five. We sat down with him for an exclusive interview this week, and he shared a moment as a kid that really impacted him, and it involves a pair of former Eagles QBs. That's tonight's Talk of Philly Sports. The Talk of Philly Sports, brought to you by First Trust Bank, official bank of the Philadelphia Eagles. That was September of 2012. Then Eagles quarterback Michael Vick and Ron Jaworski, they raised $200,000, all of it, to make this field in Hunting Park more playable for kids like the North Philly Aztecs, a Pop Warner football team. And one of the players that was on that team, it's pretty amazing, Kyle Pitts. And Mike Vick tried to, well, he did a, a field down at, at the Aztecs and he poured into the community, making it better. Shovels in the ground led to this moment. <laughs> Vic spent time having a catch with the kids, and that is a moment that meant the world to Kyle, who at the time was just a seventh grader. When I met him, it was, you know, he was a childhood favorite of mine, so meet him in person, you know, throwing with him, him helping my Pot Warner team, it was, it was pretty special. It makes you feel amazing. Uh, actually gives me chills because, you know, that's a prime example of you know, just the, the generational changes that, that we, we can control. If I could, you know, lend a football field, some time, and not just money, to help a kid dream and, and be able to accomplish his dreams in life, that's what it's all about. Touchdown again, Pitts! Yes, Kyle will be very successful. He's one of the top-rated players in the entire draft. And Vic, he was a top pick in the draft himself. He has certainly taken notice. Kyle's one of the best. He's different. He's Travis Kelsey. He's, he's George Kittle, you know, all wrapped in one. And wherever Kyle goes, he hopes to make an impact on the two places that helped to mold him, the Aztecs and his Archbishop Wood High School team. Wood, the Aztecs are the two places that are, you know, significant to me and I always want to, they help me to get where I'm at, so I want to help them get better. This is a success story that I hope a lot of people uh, gravitate to and follow and, and, and it wasn't it wasn't just me it was and Ron you know probably 30 percent us but it was 70 percent Cal Pitt standing on the right track and doing it the right way and let's just hope kids follow that path all right let's welcome in Eagles great Ron Jaworski and it's amazing seeing that video from almost a decade ago with you and Michael Vick and your foundations giving hundreds of thousands of dollars for Vic Field for the Philadelphia Aztecs, and one of the kids there at the ribbon cutting, Kyle Pitts, is going to be one of the top picks in the draft. How special is that? Yeah, John, it's it's remarkable. You know, the, to, to see Kyle Pitts not only perform at the high school level or the little league level with the Hunting Park Aztecs, but then you know at Archbishop Wood, then he goes to Florida, and, and all the good things that he has done is just remarkable as a player. And and I am so proud. Uh, that we were able to play a small part in his development by putting a new field over at Huntington Park uh, through my Jossie's playbook and the Michael Vick uh, team as well, his foundation. So, Well, it was going to be the perfect storyline if he was drafted by the Eagles. He could actually <laughs> play in the city where that field was, but when you saw the Eagles move back from 6 to 12, are you now thinking that dream is done? Yeah, I would think so. He's a top five player. I, I, when I look at him on tape, John, my eyes pop out of my head. This guy is six foot six, 245 pounds, runs a 4 4 40. He can play anywhere. Wide receiver, tight end, in a slot, out the backfield. He can do everything. And that's what you want in a football player. All right, so what did you think of them moving back? Do you agree with that, with what came out of it when you have a guy like Pitts there? Yeah, and Jamar Chase will probably be likely be there at six as well. Those are two guys that I absolutely love outside some of the quarterbacks that I've broken down. Uh, but clearly, I think Howie made a really good move. He moved six spots from six to 12 and picks up another number one next year. So I, I think it was a good move. All right, so when you read the athletic article that came out recently, and it depicted a lot of dysfunction with, within the Eagles, since you're very close with your Eagles organization, what did you think a of a lot of the things in that article? You know, I, I'm, I'm very close to just about every person that was mentioned in the article. And I know the, the quality of, of the people that they are. I know how much every single person cares about winning and cares about their teammates and their organization. Uh, sometimes 
things get out of control. And sometimes there is an organizational failure. It, it's not one person. I know how much, you know, Doug Peterson wanted to win. I know how much Howard Grossman wants to win. And Jeffrey Brewer wants to win. How much the fans of Philadelphia want to see this, this team win. But it just got a little bit out of control. And unfortunately, uh, some people paid dearly for it. But, you know, when things like this happen, you have to move ahead. you got to look back. And I, I don't normally not, not say don't look back, but don't look back. Move forward and let's learn from what happened and make this team a better football team.